What's going on YouTube? Giosna right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who are fans of Cydia alternatives, especially the installer, installer 4, installer 5 and so on. The AppTap team who are managing now the installer 5 and installer 4 projects decided to make the installer 4, their previous version, completely open source under the MIT license. This is actually very, very good because this helps people to actually look into the project to learn. And of course, as you probably know, our entire Chilbrick community is based on people being able to learn how things work. And of course, putting that into practice into Chilbrick's tweaks, CD alternatives, and so on. The installer 4 is actually the older version that used to work on iPhone OS 2 and so on, and the current one is actually the installer 5, which they have in here, and it's currently available in early beta. It's been released back in July, I think July 2nd or so, and um, you can check out the features, yeah, July 3rd in here. You can check out the features that it has, and of course the differences between the installer 5 and, for example, Cilio or Cydia, here on this post that they have on the AppTap forum. It says in here, quote, installer or 5 public beta available now. And there is a huge list of features and of course the reasons you should get the Installer 5 once it's completely out. But yeah, if you're not aware of it or how it looks like, it's basically this in here. They have an ad video that is available. I'm going to link it in the description down below. And it's actually looking quite a lot like Cilio because it does have that normal iOS 12 uh, App Store interface design kind of thing and uh, it does look definitely great. Because you probably know the Cilio, which is basically a Cydia alternative for Cydia, which is no longer kept up to date by Soric. And while Cydia is open source and people can still update it, and it was a case, Sam Bigner and Pound Own decided to update it for the iOS 12. And while a lot of people actually love Cydia because it's been with us for quite a while, it's old and it's deprecated and it does look old. It does have that old iOS 6 style, iOS 7 style, design, which hasn't been updated in forever. And of course, it lacks many other features that Installer 5 and Cilio do have. You have many, many other features that you wouldn't get normally in Cydia. For example, you have Apple-like dark mode, you have Apple-like progress view authentication for operations through Touch ID or Face ID, a thing that is not available in Cydia. You have automatically adding a repository when tapping a shared package if the user confirms, automatically detecting when a respring is needed, automatically detecting when a UI cache is needed, while Cydia would basically just throw them in at any single installation which takes time and resources from the phone and of course makes you wait through a UI cache and a respring which is not necessary many of the times. You have backup repositories and installed packages. Again, a thing that you do not have in Cydia. You have a beautiful design it says in here. Well, that is of course depending on what you like but the iOS 12 App Store-like design is definitely looking good. You have a community-generated feature page compatible with Rootless JP, which is basically Rootless Chillbreak, customizable interface, dark mode for Big Boss web depictions, disable icon fetching, fast source refresh, and so on, and follow a developer. And there are many, many other things. You have OLED dark mode supported, notifications for when a developer you follow releases a new package. There are many, many, many other features that Cydia simply doesn't have because it's old and people only keep it up to date so that it works, so that it runs on the latest version, but they do not add new features and so on to it. So basically the AppTap team, which is currently developing both the Installer 5 and the Installer 4 decided to make the installer 4 the legacy one finally available for the general public now even though this is old as I said this has a very big value for the community because this is something that you can use to learn how it's done how the packages are being installed how you can handle packages from a repo and so on and these although old do have a significant value for somebody who is getting into the jailbreak community and wants to learn how to program this kind of things yes it may not be relevant for the iOS 12 but for that you have the installer 5 which is compatible with iOS 9 all the way up to iOS 12. But the Installer 4 is indeed holding a special place in many people's memories with the Chilbrick community since this was back in I think 2007 or 2008 and 2009. These were basically the early days of the Jailbreak community. It's actually nice to see this package manager slash city alternative, whatever you want to call it, finally be released as an open source so that people can learn from it and of course they can see how things were implemented and that can indeed enhance the jewelry community further. So yeah, I definitely appreciate the fact that the AppTap team decided to release the Installer 4 as an MIT license, which means that it's open source and you can contribute, even though it's old, 
it does hold very important value to the jailbreak community and I'm happy to see open source projects being published. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, peace out.